Hey everyone, I'm Alicia from A Music Blog Yeah, and I'm here with The Antlers. How are you? Great, thanks. I just want to say thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat. We're really excited to have you here. It's my pleasure. So you're currently in Toronto for CMW, where you're playing a show with Death Cab for Cutie in Toronto. So how has this whole thing been for you so far? Uh, it's been pretty great. We got to town yesterday, and honestly, we've spent most of the time that we've been here playing bocce ball. <laughs> Um, we were staying like a little bit outside of town and found this park that was like very beautiful fields, uh, perfect for for throwing. And we just did that again like by the river earlier. So it's been good. It's been really like it's been really pleasant. Glad to hear it. Well, I know that th since this is a Death Cab for Cutie tour, what do you say is your favorite Death Cab song that you've been hearing the past couple of nights? Um. Well, I, I think. I think maybe tra they've been closing with transatlanticism. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, and that that song just kind of brings back a lot of memories for me of like when the first when I first heard it like ten years ago or so. And so it's um, it's it's like the song I know the best. So when it comes on, it's like a it's just kind of a trip for me. <laughs> but it, it's also great. It's just like this big epic closing moment that uh, that I'm really loving seeing every night. Awesome. Well, I actually was looking through some of your things on Facebook, and you post a lot of photographs of just scenic things through your <laughs> van your van window. Yeah. So I was just wondering, as far as when you go to a city, what are some things you look forward to doing or kind of looking that, whether scenic or not, but what are some things that you guys like to do when you're in a, in a city? Well, that's definitely a priority for me if I have the time. Um, if we if we get to the town early enough and have a bit of time to explore, I love going to find like scenic parks and stuff like that, and just just kind of walking around, hanging out there. Um, sometimes it like it beats the like the metropolitan urban noisy kind of thing. Like just find a really nice peaceful place. Um, that's 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 like one of the things. Um, I'm always like looking for a decent cup of coffee wherever we go. Um yeah, it really <laughs> depends. Like we don't always have so much time to look around, but when we do th those things can actually take up like quite a bit of a day. Mm -hmm. Well, when you are on those long van rides then, when you're in the van, what are some things you do to keep yourselves kind of keep your your boredom at bay? Um I try to read a lot um as much as I can before I g get bored of doing that. <laughs> um <laughs> But I've gotten I've gotten better at like the reading in the van, sticking with that. Um, sometimes you're just catching up on sleep. Like there are a lot of times where you just are kind of sleeping to survive, and then need to just like wherever you can sleep, where you can take a like quick nap, you take it because it makes a huge difference in your ability to just like get through the day. Get through the much. day pretty much. Like have enough energy to do to put on a show at like nine or ten at night. Um, and then sometimes I'll just like literally stare out the window and <laughs> and just zone out, and that can be its own its own nice Your thing own depending on where you are. Days. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, I saw that you tweeted yesterday when you arrived in Toronto. I have it here. Drake, we're in Toronto. Do you want to hang out? I know you're <laughs> awaiting a response on that. But as far as other artists out there, if you could hang out with someone for a day on tour, who would who would you like to hang out with? Oh man. Um, Are we talking living or dead? Any artist. I mean, dead might not be as fun, but you can choose. It might like. be. They might have a lot of interesting <laughs> insights about like afterlife, afterlife. L the lack of an afterlife. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with a dead person. And maybe like like an old timey singer. Okay. Who just like from the 20s could just like tell me lots of ridiculous stories <laughs> about when they when they were a performer and and all the trouble they'd get into and the shenanigans and all that all right <laughs> i think that i think nice. that'd be okay well you had actually documented one of your own recent shows which is at the hackney empire and you're releasing that as an exclusive vinyl release so what was one of your favorite moments from recording that that whole uh, that whole show um Got it. it. It already feels like a really long time ago. I'm not. It's hard to remember, like an in, like a moment from a show. 
Um, I don't know. I think there's a point in, in all of our shows where we really get into the swing of it, and we it's no it's not like the beginning, it's not the end. It's this sort of sweet spot in the middle where we have kind of gotten into our own zone and 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 feel just like very comfortable and loose and tight at the same time. And there was a there was a good little moment of that in the Hackney show. I don't remember. It was probably like somewhere in the middle of the set. All right. If that's vague enough for you. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> well, I think that's something fans are itching to know about is new music. You will be releasing that vinyl in June, but what's next on the music front, EP or record? Um, are, are fans curious about that <laughs> <laughs> already? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm writing a lot right now. Um, just kind of coming up with lots of songs, uh, but not really knowing what's going to happen with them. If, if, uh, like I don't I don't know what they're gonna become, uh, so it's it's a little early to say. But like, there's definitely music coming in the future. All right, great. Well, that wraps everything up. I just want to say a massive thanks to you for taking the time to have a chat. We really really appreciate your time. And for everyone at home, be sure to visit us at www.amusiclogia.com for all exclusive interviews with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.